So we begin with breaking news from India, where Defence Chief General Bipin Rawat and 12 other officials have been killed in a helicopter crash. The helicopter came down in the Nilgiris district of southern Tamil Nadu state. One person survived. It's not known why it crashed. An investigation is now underway. Let's cross over to New Delhi. Our correspondent Elizabeth Pranan uh, joins us from there now. Uh, Liz, what more do we know? Hello, Nick. So the Indian Air Force tweeted a short while ago saying that it is with deep regret that they have ascertained that General Bipin Rawat, Mrs. Madhulika Rawat, that is Bipin Rawat's wife, and 11 others uh, were killed in the, in the helicopter crash. There were 14 people on board, 13 have died, and one is being treated in hospital. And the um, government administrator in the district of Nilgiris, where the crash took place, he has said that the... Um, identity of the bodies has to be confirmed using DNA testing because of the severe burns. Now, 63-year-old General Bipin Rawat is the chief of defense staff. It is a newly created position in January of last year, and he's the first person to hold it. He was the former army chief of staff, and uh, the chief of defense staff is actually, um, it was created to integrate the army, the navy, and the air force, and it is the highest ranking position in the Indian armed forces. Now, he was traveling on a helicopter on in a helicopter that was going from an air force in Sulur to the Defense Service College in Wellington uh, in Wellington for an event it was not supposed to be a very long ride but this is a very mountainous region uh, with a lot of forests and as you mentioned the Indian Air Force has ordered an inquiry to ascertain what exactly caused the crash Prime Minister Narendra Modi is holding a meeting now with the um, with the defense chiefs in the country and the defense minister was actually supposed to address Parliament late on Wednesday afternoon about the incident but he will be doing that on Thursday morning uh, because he went to the Rawat residence in New Delhi um, instead of addressing Parliament. All right, let's leave it there for the moment. Thanks very much indeed. Liz Pranam there from New Delhi.